finally had a decent draft of the lyrics, so I showed them to Professor Galvez first. He liked them. He said I had done a superb job capturing the sense of a young girl's troubled heart. There were one or two lines I thought needed brushing up, so although he said lyrics aren't my specialty at first, he gave me some advice. Everything he said made perfect sense. When I tried putting in his changes, they made the song feel deeper, more sincere. That is the professor for you. He always has the answer. With the lyrics finished, I was ready to show Miller. He does not often take things seriously, but all of a sudden, he was saying, Puff, you have the soul of an Enka songwriter. And I did not even listen to Enka all that much. Maybe I am pretty talented after all. But still, it took so much time to write the lyrics that there is hardly any time left to rehearse before peace day. The three of us rushed into the makeshift practice studio on Mother Base to see how we sounded together. Miller strummed away with a big smile on his face. I sang the main melody, and Professor Galvez improvised a backup melody. I know the professor is smart, but is there anything he cannot do? And Miller's guitar playing sounded a lot better now that he stopped singing. But I could hardly criticize his voice. I thought I had learned the song well enough listening to the tape as I wrote the lyrics, but I had trouble with the pitch and kept missing the rhythm. I have to practice, but there is almost no time left. It is just three days until peace day. Wait, I thought there were three days left before. I went and checked today's date with Miller and the professor. The date has not changed. It is the same day. Something is strange. Am I reliving the same day? 